Hello! Welcome to the botanical night. I'm sitting like in a Japanese nowhere. I mean kind of middle of the field, but not far away from the famous Kaimon mountain. And today is September 20th. So flowering time never ends in Japan and there's the next wave of flowering plants which start to go in September. So among these plants is very typical tropical wheat. So this is a Bidens or Bidens if you like it, but I like more Latin pronunciation, Bidens pilosa, one of very typical plant which has so-called ray inflorescences with white ray flowers and central yellow disc flowers. As usual in all aster family, the whole structure is not a flower, but a flowering head covered with additional greenish bracts, filarias. And then will go these white ray flowers, which typically have attractive roles. So very frequently they don't produce any fruits, but simply attract insects to pollinate. And central flowers, like disc flowers, will be flowers which will finally produce the fruits. It's too early for the fruits in this species, but fruits of biddens are extremely prickly. So they will attach to everything which goes nearby, and this is one of the main way of distribution of biddens, one of way which is giving it so big invasiveness. So it's not only like an enemy plant, it's not only a weed. There were multiple uses. For example, it was used as a vegetable, so it's possible to eat. And it also a component of the Chinese medicine. So there are many different uses, which include, for example, the use it as an anti-cancer compound for leukemia, for the blood cancer. So very interesting plant in that way as well. What is interesting today is that plant has typical nictinastic behavior. So nictinastic behavior is a behavior of plant, so something which plant is doing, and that time nictinastic is something which going in the night. So in the night the flowering heads of Bidens hirzuta will go down. Is a very clear adaptation, adaptation against accumulation of water rain or dew, whatever might be accumulated, definitely will not help flowers to be pollinated. So better to avoid it, and this is a very easy to make, because what you need to do, you only need to increase the length of cells which are on top of that curve, and decrease the length of cells which are on bottom of that curve. So as usual, in the plant world, everything is done through the shrinking or growing of cells and internally is due to the vacuole, which will either lose water or accumulate water. That reason for accumulation and losing is molecular osmosis. So salt concentration will regulate these movements of plants. In that case, nictinastic behavior of Bidon spilosa. Another very funny fact about it. In Japan, there are two varieties of Bidon spilosa. This is kind of more tropical one. You can see it all around the world. Origin is like in America, but now it's very hard to say where are you. If you see that plant, well, it may be anywhere, almost anywhere in the world. The only thing is clear. It's like probably tropical or subtropical region because plant likes to flower in the winter times and it's not possible in temperate region. But two varieties. One of them is what you see here with white red flowers. And another variety just have no ray flowers. And that's actually a normal situation for biddens. Most of biddens don't have developed ray flowers. They only have disc yellow central flowers. And this is very frequent for most of species of biddens. So interesting thing. To me, this is indication there is some program of the development. So it kind of switch that program and will have ray flowers develop it or switch it off 
and then you have no ray flowers developing very typical situation in plants as well so plant body development consists of multiple programs which might be switched on and off so this is my night story about Bidens pilosa thank you very much